Hey, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's your girl Adina. Thank you for joining me today. Um, what I want to do is hopefully start something uh, that's going to be ongoing for me. Uh, I started a pop that tape hashtag on Instagram. So I want to start rolling with that. I think that a lot of times we get on the bandwagon of there's a new product out. There's a new collection out. I have to run and get it. And then someone comes along with the dupes to whatever the new product was. So I want to start shopping my stash and sharing it with you all so that maybe you all have something in your collection already that you forgot all about. Uh, it may not be the same item that I have, but it may trigger something because if your collection is anything like mine, you have items that you have not even opened, which caused me to come up with the pop that tape logo because um, the first time that I opened up a tape that I, on one that I hadn't used in quite some time I said oh I popped that tape I was like mm, that's a cute little hashtag I think I'll use it as a hashtag so that's what I started doing if you look on Instagram hashtag P O P T H A T T A P E you'll see quite a few pictures that I've posted to for pop that tape and then some of my Instagram friends have done so as well. So to get started on today's edition of Pop That Tape, uh, I'm going to do my all-in-one boxes. So hopefully I can go through this kind of quickly um, and I'll share you with you the ones that I have. First one I have is this NYX Nude on Nude. The one thing I don't like about this type of item is that there is an eyeshadow collection at the top, which, don't get me wrong, I love the eyeshadows. There's also a lip product at the bottom. Don't get me wrong, I love the lip products. I just don't like them together like this because if you drop it and the eyeshadows fall apart for some reason, then it gets into the lip product and now they're pretty much ruined. So you have a product that you can't do anything with. On the plus side, this survived a fall. My I'm not gonna go into the story of how it fell. It fell. It didn't crack or anything, so it was a good purchase, and I do use it, and I'm happy with that purchase. Next that I have are two little bags that actually look kind of similar. One is from Sephora, as you can tell, and the other one is a profusion item. Uh, it's Beauty Gems. This one is from my daughter. Her name on Instagram is at M underscore S underscore Eeyore. You know the little donkey on uh, Winnie the Pooh that loses his tail all the time? That's him. She loves him. And so she used that as her Instagram name. Uh, two things you need to know about me right now. You see me scratching a lot. I have bad allergies. So you see me scratching. I'm surprised, surprised that my makeup survives the day with me and the itchy. And the other thing, it, well, it's two more things. I have ADD, which probably was evident. And the other thing was, I don't remember what it was. I don't rehearse. I don't rehearse my videos. So you're liable to get anything. I just hope I don't stutter and stumble and stagger all through my uh, video. So anyway, back to what I was talking about. The Sephora one has a little opening like this. And then there's a mirror down here at the bottom. I'm trying not to blind you with. But then here on these nine neutral colors, they are shimmery, but they're very pretty. If you pull out one side at the bottom, the back of the palette has a neutral color blush. I'm not a real big fan of it because it hardly even shows up on my skin tone. And then on this side are some neutral color lip colors that I really like. They uh, they last long and they smell pretty good. So I like them. They don't have a funny taste. Next one is this, again, like I said, Beauty Gems. is by Profusion. And Profusion, if anyone is familiar with that brand, you usually get it like at the beauty supply store. Um, but they have these shimmery colors and I only use shimmery colors on my mobile lid but on this side of the palette is all eyeshadows on this side the bottom here has eyeshadows then you had the two blushes and then on this part right here you have three different color lip colors so um, I need to start using this I have not even used it yet um, shame on me what can I say I'm going to get on it. Next is another Beauty Gems Fashionista's Favorites. This one also was a gift from my daughter. And it opens up 
like this. It's a little push button. So you push that in and you open it this way. Now, right here is a mirror. So I don't want to blind you again because there's this bright light that comes from my camera phone. But you pull the mirror down to get to the lip glosses that are right here. So now you have two layers. You have your lip glosses here. And then you have these eyeshadows here. I'm not going to flip that back up. Okay, so then you slide this over and you see some more eyeshadows. Then when you pull this one over, in the bottom is six blushes. And I haven't tried this one yet, so I can't tell you the quality of them. But I can tell you I have been very pleased with the... Um, Profusion eyeshadows. They are very well pigmented. They're durable. They last. They don't crease, especially if you use a good primer. Um, I really like them. I haven't tried the blushes yet. I haven't tried this palette at all, so I can't speak on it to say how it works. But the very bottom also has some additional brighter color eyeshadows here in the middle, some neutral colors here, and some light peach and salmon colors right here. Uh, next is... This kit uh, gift set, which is Tarte High Performance Naturals, and it came in real pretty, luxurious, like gold and purple box. And the top lid opens, and there's a mirror at the top. And then there are these four individual palettes, which have a eyeshadow quad and a coordinating blush. And each of these comes out separately like this. Okay. So once you pull that out, at the bottom is another drawer. So this drawer pulls out like this. It doesn't come all the way out, which is good. And it has these three lip glosses here. And then there's this pretty little compact right here. And that compact is where you put the little eyeshadow, the little palette that pops out. So there's the mirror here on this side and then there's this little card in here I just didn't take it out but the card does come out that says lift swap go so um, you see it here this little card comes out and this is where you put the little palette it snaps in right here so you can take that along with you on the go do some touch-ups grab one of the lip glosses and uh, you got a good little kit to carry around with you just to do some little quick touch-ups. Next I have this other shopping bag looking item, which some of you probably also have, is from Wet n Wild, the Fergie. Um, I don't even remember what it was some it was a cute name, it was like D Bon to Go or something like that. <laughs> so uh, but it opens up like a book also. And I haven't tried this either. A uh, perfect example of someone who has too much stuff and they need to start using it more. Um, but there are these eyeshadows on the very top layer. And both of these sides open up. So the first, this side on the right side opens. And there's lip glosses here. And then it opens up again. And at the very top are lip liners and eyeliners. And then at the bottom part are some six blushes. So you close that side open this side and then there's this little spot is just for the one the little palette that slides out right here which is lip glosses again so you have five rows five layers you have eyeshadow eyeshadow lip colors and then lip colors and then your blush and your pencils closes back up will carry y'all and actually this thing has got some weight to it and um, hopefully I'll be able to start using these more and tell you something about how I like them last but not least is something that you all probably have as well don't know how many of you may be using it and thank you so much for subscribing and following me if you haven't subscribed please do so rate and thumbs up please um, this Shaney Cosmetics the Masterpiece 7 layer all in one makeup set. I don't know how many of you have this. I haven't tried it yet and I can show you that I haven't because I haven't even opened these. They are they still have the plastic on them. What I had to do before I started this video was take this there was plastic wrap all around each one of these palettes. They did not want anything to get into these palettes. They were triple 
plastic wrap. There was a plastic wrap around each individual palette. Then there's a plastic cap cover. And under the plastic cover was another plastic layer on top of each one of these. So I did open them up just so, to get the plastic off of them. But I'm not going to take the plastic off of each one because that will take forever. But this is the first layer which is brights, pinks, and purples. The next layer, um, I probably put them back in, not in order. So they may not be in the order that they came in. It's some neutral colors and some pretty fall colors right here. The next one is blues and greens. And if you would like some swatches of these, please let me know and I will post them on Instagram. Or I can do a video for you if you like. Just let me know if you want to see them swatched in person. Uh, these are some purples, mauves, and a few neutral tones down here at the bottom and bright pinks. Next is a lip palette. And they're cream colors and some shimmery colors. Next is a six blush palette. You can also use these, this color here like for contouring. And then lastly is this foundation palette. And it does have a couple of correctors in it. So you can use this for foundation or you could use it for concealer. I'll probably use it for concealer. Uh, I don't see me mixing these colors to try to get to build my own personal color. I'll probably use it as concealers. Um, that's probably how it would work out best for me. Um, let me know how you all are using it if you have it. Um, if you are doing any looks with it, let me, you know, tag me in it so I can see them because I would like to see them. I haven't been keeping up with my um, YouTube because my computer has a virus. It's slow as hell. It's terrible. So uh, I'm trying to keep up with my people that I'm subscribed to. I try to watch as many videos as I can on this or my iPad. Um, but I haven't forgotten about you. So that was my Pop That Tape um, episode for today. I hope everyone enjoyed it. And again, please rate and subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them below. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful and beautiful day. Be good. Bye.